A strong grip is a compensation. It's not something you should use. And here's why. A strong grip is just covering up the root problem with your swing. It's, you're not really addressing it. The problem with doing that, it may seem to fix your swing, but really, when you have a problem with your swing, it just leads to all of more and more problems. You're better off addressing the root cause than putting a Band-Aid on it with a strong grip. You know, the analogy I use is if your car engine is pinging or making a noise, you can buy a fuel additive that you put in your gasoline that'll make it stop pinging. But that doesn't really address the problem, it just covers it up. It's like putting a Band-Aid on it. It's not really fixing the problem. The problem is still there and the problem is still doing damage to the engine. You need to address the root cause that's making your engine ping to begin with. Same with your golf swing. A strong grip is just covering up that problem with your golf swing and that problem is just going to eat away at you year after year after year and cause more problems with your swing. Instead of using a strong grip, learn to fix your root problems with your golf swing that it's covering up. Strong grip can also reduce your consistency. Because it's not the natural way your hands work, you've got to use the smaller muscles in your forearm and your wrist to close the club face or manipulate the club face with a strong grip. Anytime you get your small muscles involved, you're not going to be as consistent as if you just let your big muscles work and let things work as they naturally would. Uh, the other thing a strong grip can affect is your ball height. Uh, you're either going to, it's not going to be consistent, again, because you're having to use those big muscle or small muscles to turn it. So your ball height would not be as consistent using a strong grip as it is with a neutral grip, which just naturally closes the same way every time because you're not doing anything to close it. Another reason for not using a strong grip is it can lead to other problems. A strong grip can lead to flipping because your hands don't naturally turn over as they should with an, as they do with a neutral grip. So you've got to get your wrist involved. One other problem people don't think about is strong grip can also lead to an injury. Wrist tendonitis can also come from using too strong a grip. As opposed to using a neutral grip where you don't have those problems. Finally, a strong grip creates other compensations in your swing. Because it's not the natural way to hold your hands, your body has to do other things to compensate for it. As I already said, you use a strong grip, you've got to use the muscles in your forearms, in your wrist, and your hands to close that club face or manipulate it. That's another compensation. You start doing that and you start doing other things in your swing to take care of the strong grip. It just creates more compensations in your golf swing that you really don't need as opposed to just using a neutral grip and letting things happen naturally. Overall, you can see I'm not a big fan of a strong grip. As I said, it covers up the errors in your swing. It's just a compensation for error. It introduces other compensations in your swing, it introduces inconsistency in your swing, and it can actually lead to injury, specifically wrist tendonitis in your... So, overall, as I said, I'm not a big fan of a strong grip.